And now let's see how we can navigate around our project programmatically. In our case, that is going to be once we submit the form. And also, let's see how we can restrict access to certain routes. Before we begin, though, please keep in mind that normally, we will use context to store our user value. In this case, I just didn't see the point of setting up the entire boilerplate. And we want to start in the app JS, where you want to set up user state value with use state and initial value will be null. Then we want to import two more pages. We want to import the login page as well as the dashboard one. Again, the boilerplate placeholders are already there. And then in the login one, we want to pass in the function, the one that sets up the user. And in the dashboard, we want to pass in the actual user. So let's start in the app JS, where we want to get the use state from react, so import use state that is coming from react. And let's set up that state value. So in here, let's go with const user set user that is equal to use state. And let's pass in the null. Then let's grab both of those pages. So we're talking about the dashboard, as well as the login one. Now dashboard doesn't have anything pretty much it's the same boilerplate and login has a little bit more and I'll cover that in a second. Now since my auto imports were not particularly successful, let's try it here, where I'm going to go with dashboard, dashboard. And again, it's not working. So I don't know what's up with that. So let's go with pages, then Let's access the dashboard one. Let's copy and paste. In this case, let's delete. And let's just go with login. Then right after that single product, first of all, I'll make my browser bigger here. I want to go above the error one. And let's set up that route, the login one. So path will be login. And then we want to go with element. And let's pass in the login one. And then instead of the login element, let's also pass in set user is equal to set user. So now we're passing in this function. Now we do want to close this one, meaning the route. So let's save this, then we'll copy and paste. This is going to be dashboard, dashboard, then the component will be dashboard as well. And instead of set user, We'll go with user. So user is equal to user. Let's save this. And uh, now let's navigate to the login one. And you know what? Actually, I also want to add the link to the login one. So not to the dashboard, but to the login one. And if you remember, that was in the styled navbar. So let's navigate here. And let's add one more link. Let's copy and paste. This is not going to go to product, this is going to go to login, and then also the text will be login. Let's save it, we have the login. Once we navigate here, we notice that we have the form, which is awesome. So now let's navigate to the page and we'll take a look at what we have and what changes we need to add. So I imported use state, I have two state values, I have name and email, and I right away have the handle submit where we have prevent default, pretty much basic setup. Also, both of them are set up as controlled inputs. So they're tied to the state value. So as you start typing, you basically will have both of the values over there. Now, if you want to test this out, let's go with log and then let's say name and email. Again, pretty typical setup. So I'm going to go here with john at john gmail.com. And once we log, check this out, we have both of the values. So here's what we want to do in the login one. We want to check whether both values are there. If they're there, first we want to set the user. So this one is coming from the app.js. And yes, I purposely went here the long route. And then we want to get use navigate from React or DOM. And we want to navigate programmatically to the dashboard. So notice in this case, it's not happening once we're clicking on a link or a nav link. In this case, we'll navigate there using navigate. And in order to invoke that, 
we get to use navigate, we invoke it, this is going to be equal to navigate. And then in here, we just provide where we want to navigate. And then in the dashboard, since we can access the user, I just want to say hello, and then the username. Now we are using optional chaining, because remember, initially, it's going to be no. So let's try to set this one up. We're in the login. First, let's grab that navigate, so use navigate that is coming from react router dump. Then I already have the console log. Okay, beautiful. Let me remove it. And in here above the handle submit, let's set up that navigate. So navigate is equal to use navigate. Let's invoke that. And then we're going to go with if condition. So if there is no name, or there is no email. So if one of them is missing, then we want to return. And yes, that is the check that I'm going to set up right now. So there's going to be no error messages, nothing like that. I just want to check whether one of them is empty. If one of them is empty, we'll simply return. Now, if both of them are provided, we'll go with set user. Now we just want to grab it from the params. So let's set up here, set user. Again, this is coming from the app.js, like so. And first we want to invoke it. We want to go with set user. Let's pass in the name equals to name and email equals to email. If you want to shorten this up, of course, you can definitely do so. And then let's go with navigate. And where we want to go, we want to go to forward slash and a dashboard. Let's save this one right now. Um, let's try to do that with only john. So if I just provide one value notice, we cannot do anything. Or if I go john and gmail.com, we'll notice that we'll nicely navigate to the dashboard one. And in the dashboard, I just want to display the name. And the way we set it up, if we take a look at the dashboard, we just want to grab the user, since that is what we're passing in the app.js again. And more specifically, I'll look for name. However, there's going to be optional chaining, since initially, it's going to be null. So let me navigate right now to the dashboard one. Let me grab the user. And then once we destructure it, where we have the heading four, instead, I'll say hello. And let's just access the username, like I said, optional chaining. And then let's go for name. Once we save, we have hello, John. So if we'll navigate to a login, and we'll go with Peter instead, and Peter at gmail.com. First, we'll programmatically navigate once we submit the form using the use navigate, which we imported then invoked it. And then we just pass in the path, the dashboard one. And in the dashboard page, we actually display the name of the user, which in this case is Peter.